All right. Um, so this one's to solve. So we got to be able to solve. And ladies and gentlemen, when we know that we have a factor above 1, we're going to have to, we can't just isolate a variable, right? Because these are not like terms, not to the same power. So we have to look into factoring. Now remember when we look into factoring, the first thing that we always want to do for factoring is see if we can factor out common factors. So you say, all right, what is the largest common factor that we can factor out of these two terms? You say, you could factor out an x to the third. Therefore, that will leave you with x squared plus, oh, I'm sorry, x to the third plus um, x squared plus 4. So now we have a product that's equal to 0. So we can apply the zero product property. A times B equals 0, A equals 0, or B equals 0, right? The zero product property. So therefore, I can now say x cubed equals 0, or x squared plus 4 equals 0. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could just solve for x by using the square root method, or you could factor this actually even further down, kind of like what we did before. But we'll just solve it by using the square root property. So to solve for x, we need to take the cube root. And you could say x equals 0. Here, subtract 4. x squared equals negative 4. Right? Square root. x equals plus or minus 2i. Why is that zero not the Because that's the cube root. You're taking like the third root. So you put a 3 on the outside of the square root, representing that. So now you can say, well, I have 0, which means I have one real solution. And then I have two complex solutions, or imaginary. Did everybody say that? So just factor and solve. Yes? It's 2i, though, because it's a negative 4. You're taking the square root of negative 4. Remember that square root of a negative number, you're going to have imaginary component, right? Right? Because you have to do square root of negative 1, which would be i. Doing the cube root, would that give you the same number again? Yeah, it's going to be what number multiplied by itself three times gives you zero? Zero. No, 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 like for another problem. Well, yeah, the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Right? That's what the cube root represents. Whoa.